sidewall there. Very shiny. Looks cool, right? Oh, do you ever get that? Well, believe it or not, that did not come from the sidewall of my tire. That was purely for dramatization purposes only. There's this thing called tire dressing buildup. It can get so foul and nasty and accumulate so much that it becomes this thick, it's like axle grease. It's just so nasty. The reason for that is twofold. First, it's your choice in tire dressing. Secondly, it's a failure to properly clean your tires before any new application of dressing is applied to the tires. Let's talk about the first one, which is your choice in tire dressing, which is why I prefer the dressing that I do, which just so happens to be the new tire lotion by Clear Coat Solutions. Why? Because it's what's called true waterborne technology. Unlike other heavy solvent based or heavy oil based dressings that are meant to last forever and ever and ever, that never dry and they create sling, which is unwanted, and they just create a big gooey fat mess. So any dirt that clings to that also clings to life. It's they're very hard to remove. Yes, they can create a hyper shine, but to me, that's the only winning attribute of those types of dressings is a hyper shine. And that's only if you're actually chasing what I call a hyper shine. Right there, that's more than enough shine. Let me rephrase that. Right there, that is the winning balance of shine in my world. But not only is it shiny, but it has all these other winning attributes but let's deliberate on that later. Let's talk about another critical factor, which is a failure to clean the sidewall properly before any new application of your choice in the best tire dressing. So that is a pet peeve, especially as a professional detailer. So what happens is I roll up onto a car and they, happen to frequent the local car wash. Now the local car wash, because it's all about making a profit, they will fail to properly clean the sidewall before any new application of a tire dressing. So what happens is layer upon layer builds up, you add to that the accumulated dirt and dust and brake dust, and over time it creates a big, nasty, foul, grungy, greasy, black mess. And if you happen to rub against it, your leg, your pants, your clothes, whatever, it's just foul and nasty. So if that is the case, first off, the best solution is you simply clean your sidewalls properly each and every time which then kind of segues into your choice of a tire dressing. So if you're a fan of the hyper gloss, the hyper shine, you don't have a whole lot of options. You're gonna have to default to an oil base or a solvent based tire dressing, but that's a whole nother can of trade-offs, which is tire sling and never fully dries to the touch. Um, dirt clings to it removing it each and every time before any subsequent applications of tire dressing is gonna be difficult at best. So I'm just, as a rule, not a fan of them. So there's kind of two parts to that problem there, which is tire dressing buildup. So my suggestion would be a couple things. One, you change your choice in tire dressing. Or secondly, if you're gonna frequent the car washes, you're gonna to have to inspect the sidewall of your tire occasionally and clean it because the car wash is not gonna do it for you. Or if you're a driveway detailer and you just like to slather layer upon layer of dressing on it and you notice that after a certain amount of time that you have this big, foul, nasty buildup of tire dressing on your tire and now you want to clean it off because it's gotten so foul, you just feel like you're just making a big, a bigger mess than is already there. In fact, it's so thick, you could literally carve your name into the sidewall because it's so built up and so thick. So I've got two solutions for you, which are my go-to solutions. First, let me introduce you to my spent microfiber cloth. When microfiber cloths get so foul and nasty that I just don't wanna put them in, th in the wash machine with my other microfiber cloths, 
that's where they go into a separate bucket and then I can use them for just dirty ass work that I know that this is just going to get thrown away past the point of return. Which is perfect for a moment like this because it's going to become very foul and nasty as you clean the sidewall of your tire off, especially if you've neglected it and you've allowed excessive amounts of dirt and dressing to build up. So we have product number one, which is acetone. Now, a lot of you, I'm sure, will be fearful of using acetone on the sidewall of your tire because you're going to think, well, it's going to ruin my tire and it's going to pop and who knows what. Well, then you have option number two, which is basic rubbing alcohol. It comes in different percentages. Don't overthink that part. Whatever you can get at the market, the grocery store, Costco, which is where this comes from, you can use it. So the acetone will prove to be more effective as in the ability to cut down, break down that dressing better, quicker than the alcohol will. So right there you can see, in fact, the dirt that has come off of my tire, even though each time that I apply dressing to this tire or the tires on my car, as a rule, I'm going to clean them first. The added problem with that is this though, is that each tire is created uniquely. What that means to you and me is that each tire sidewall will have different details, nuances, crevices, lettering, um, numbers go down the list. And those are excellent places for that grunge to build up and it makes it more difficult to clean. So you may actually have to get a dedicated brush and that brush can be as simple as something like this. It can be as simple as you hijacking a toothbrush out of one of the drawers in your house. Whatever works for you, however level of standard that you require, there's a lot of factors that's gonna determine what level you're gonna to have to take this to. Now, if it's not too bad, a simple rag, some rubbing alcohol, or some acetone is gonna work. But based on the sidewall of your tire, because not all tires are created equally. Some tires have a lot of details to the sidewall, some do not. Some of you will be faced with oil-based, really heavy, oily, greasy, solvent-based uh, dressings that are just really foul and nasty, excessive amounts of buildup, plus endless details. So it's gonna be a case by case. That's where you're gonna to have to decide what's gonna work for you based on your expectations as to desired result. Now I want the sidewall as clean as possible so that moving forward, I can just apply a new layer of dressing and then clean it off each time before I apply a new layer of dressing. Because if you don't clean it off properly each time, you will eventually get that buildup. We don't want that buildup. So this is how we remove that buildup. The acetone is what I would call the quickest way to get from point A to point B. Point A, heavy, excessive amounts of tire dressing buildup. Point B is a completely clean sidewall of your tire. This will be the quickest way. But I get it, some of you will be afraid to use it. So you can default to basic rubbing alcohol you do it the same way. It's still gonna be effective, it just will take and require a little more scrubbing to fully break that down and based on the tire dressing that is present and all the nuances of your sidewall will determine how quickly that process happens. Once again, you may have to break out a brush to really finesse and detail out your sidewall before you apply a new fresh, operative word there, fresh coat of tire dressing. Which leads me full circle to talking about tire dressing, which is this. Why do I choose this one? Well, it is what I consider the winning combination of the good and the bad. What do I mean by that? Well, this has the things I want and it has the things I don't want. What do I not want? Which I think is a double negative. Well, it's not oil-based. It's not made with heavy solvents which means it's going to dry to the touch also because it's waterborne technology. 
And because it will dry to the touch, that means I'm not going to get any tire sling on the side of my car, which is highly unwanted, especially for a person like myself, probably for yourself also. True waterborne technology. I use the analogy of latex paint. Latex paint is water-based paint. When it's wet, you can clean it up very simply with water. Once it dries, it is no longer water soluble. Well, this is like that in many ways, which means the carrier of this product, hence waterborne technology, is the water molecule. So the water molecule is the carrier for the active or the inert ingredients. The ingredients that you want on your sidewall. So when you apply the dressing and that water molecule evaporates, guess what's left over? All the good stuff, which is why it will dry to the touch. Also, you can apply multiple layers if you want to increase the shine, if you choose to do so. You just simply allow it to dry, the water molecules ev evaporate, you have all the good stuff left over and now you come back around and you apply a second coat if you choose, if you're trying to achieve a more or a higher level of shine. Just know as a little caveat that the composition of your tire will be as big of a determinant in the amount of shine that you're able to create as your choice in the tire dressing, which is a simple way of saying some of your tires out there, the, the rubber composition, it just sucks. So you can find the best tire dressing in the world and it's just not going to produce the type of shine that maybe you're chasing because the, the rubber composition is just inferior. So that's as large of a determinant as your choice in a tire dressing. This is my choice. Waterborne technology, dries to the touch, no tire sling. It's not solvent based or oil based, which is greasy, gooey, harder to clean off each time. So that's why I choose that one. So let me finish cleaning the sidewall of this, even though it doesn't need it, because every time I wash this car, I clean it properly before I apply a new layer of the dressing. But for your viewing pleasure, I'm going to use the acetone and I'm going to completely clean the sidewall of this tire. Now you don't have to be overly fearful about getting it on your wheel. I know a lot of you will go into freak out mode. And once again, everything is all about the details. So on my particular sidewall, I've got this nice little lip inside here, which is cool because if you're kind of a careless driver and you smack the curb, it's almost like a rubber bumper because it extends out past the wheel itself. Now I'm not worried about this acetone damaging the clear coat on my wheel because I know it's not gonna damage the clear coat on my paint, but that's a discussion for a whole nother video because I'm sure there's plenty of guys and girls out there that would never touch acetone to their car paint. But I live in California and a lot of things have been dumbed down because of overregulation. So the acetone I get here may be different than the acetone you get in your part of the world. Nonetheless, now I have a perfectly clean sidewall it wasn't overly built up with grunge anyways. Now comes the best part, which is applying a new fresh coat of tire dressing, the CSI New Tire Lotion. And here is my latest and greatest best tire dressing applicator, which I have a dedicated video on that. Now, as a rule, I'm gonna shake virtually anything I use, I'm gonna shake, whether it says so or not. I'm gonna apply it to the sponge because I want to control the product. I want the product to transfer directly to the sidewall. I don't want to spray it and have it transfer to the paint in the wheel. So I first transfer it to the applicator, then the applicator then transfers it in very controlled manner to the sidewall of my tire. So now, and you'll notice that this is concave. I actually cut it in half because I have a very low profile tire here. It has this very sharp little edge to it, which allows me to get right inside that lip because it is all about the details. So if I like a enhanced shiny sidewall in the form of dressing, which is also going to help uh, condition the tire sidewall, add protection, whatever that means to you, and voila, 
Now I've got a freshly, perfectly clean tire sidewall, no grungy, gross buildup, and a fresh coating of my favorite tire dressing. I allow that to dry based on the weather conditions. That could be two minutes or that could be 10 minutes. Then if I decide I want to create some additional shine, I can come back in once that has dried and I can apply a second or a third coat if I want to. My tires actually don't need it. One coat is good to go. Okay, with that said, leave me your comments below. I wanna know if you've come across this or if you, what experience you've had. For example, let's say you've got some heavy buildup on your tires and you brushed up against it with your pants or if you're a girl and you're in one of your dresses or your bare legs or something you're, and you're like, oh my gosh, that stupid car wash I take my car to, how come it's so messy for so many reasons? But I wanna hear your comments below and they're not just for me. They're not just for my reading pleasure. They're also for the reading pleasure of the guys and girls that come in after the fact and they read your comments. So it doesn't just help out me, it helps out the people coming in after the fact. So with that said, I will see you on the next video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and by all means, subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. We will see you on the very next video.